Hey guys, watch me create these gumball nails. Get your popcorn or join me in paint. I started with a nude color on my thumb, pointer, and pinky fingers. And I went in with two coats. On those fingers, I did French nails with a teal color. This set is all teal, so it'll be matching gumball. And then on my middle and ring finger, I did two coats of teal. Now on the ring finger, I decided to do this cute swirly design with a blue glitter and white. I also went in after and decided to add some 3D flowers. So you'll see that towards the end. I decided to outline with that same blue glitter the French nails just to make them match a little bit with the ring finger just so that everything can be a little more cohesive. And now I am sketching gumball. It's good to start with a sketch instead of color blocking your characters. It helps with proportions and anything you need to fix. I definitely recommend sketching for beginner artists. And even at a more advanced level, sketching is extremely helpful. It makes everything look a little more neater and put together. Now it's time for color blocking and here I went ahead and colored everything in that was not Gumball's teal color.
Now I went ahead and filled in my background. And then I added a matte top coat before outlining. Personally, I feel like if you cover your characters with a matte top coat before you outline, it just helps smooth everything out completely. That way you have the most crispiest, bestest of lines in your line work. I also think that it's easier to create thinner lines when you do that first rather than going right in with an outline before matte top coating because your lines will be a little more thicker. Even if you try to make thinner lines, you may come across some bumps just because sometimes it happens and we can be a little heavy handed with the gels. So to avoid all that, smooth everything out with a matte top coat first. I'm finishing everything off with a glossy top coat and don't forget your bling bling because I added a couple blings in there and of course in a teal aqua bluey color and it brought everything together so beautifully. I'm really happy with how Gumball came out. Oh maybe I should make a Darwin set next. And there we have it, a really pretty gumball set. Hope you love it as much as I do. Like, leave a comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe.